Hey guys, I'm Isil Khan and in this video, we're going to talk about resource leveling in project management. Now before talking about resource leveling, the first thing I want to talk about is like what they are. I mean, what are resources? So resources can be of different categories like equipment, labor, material. Okay, these are the three uh, categories of resources. Now equipments are resources which are not permanently installed on site. These are temporary resources. For example, you can take an example of an excavator. An excavator does excavate and digs, you can say, soil, and then it is taken away from the site. So, an excavator can be an equipment. Okay. So this is an example. Now, labors. These are uh, you can say the the main power. Okay. Labor are um, uh, resources with fixed salaries. You can say. So these are main powers and the material, these are uh, permanent resources. Labors are also not permanent, okay? These can be changed with the time. That does not matter. Okay, so material, however, are permanently installed on the site. Like you can say, uh, if you construct a building or a shopping mall, you can say. So a building can be constructed of um, brickwork, stonework, and those are permanent things those are permanent resources installed on the site okay now what are resource leveling how do we do resource leveling actually resource leveling can be the minimization of variations resource used during project okay and what does this mean i'm going to represent this thing and i'm going to discuss this with the the graphic representation you can say and let's say i'm going to draw a graph of days and resources these resources gonna represent the labor okay wait a minute if i can draw it better okay now we got a limitation from the company side like you can say this one and the limitation can be in terms like you can say uh like uh, if an activity uh needs 15 number of labors and the company does provide and can provide only 10 labors per day so 10 labors is the limitation you can say it is the limit that a company can provide okay so we got a limit over here this one now as you can see we got something about the limit the resources are gone about the limit we're gonna bring these resources down into the limit you can say okay this is called resource leveling like you can say this one this okay uh, if you look to the, the gram there are uh, ups and downs okay and we're gonna level them we're gonna bring the ups uh, into the down okay like date so as you can see this one this portion this portion can be brought just over here to this point and the another one like those can be brought over there okay so this is called leveling okay resource leveling we have leveled the resources like in this form now the graph can be seen in this form okay so what is the process how do we do it it is not that that easy okay to bring the ups into the downs so this is not that easy we're gonna we're gonna analyze we're gonna work with the critical paths okay though there can be uh, critical activities so it is a little tricky and i'm gonna go ahead for an example because an example can be a better way to understand some things 